and so on. Hi everyone. In the interest of time, I won't read out the um, title. I think you can do this yourself. Um, okay, so um, I have to introduce a little bit the Global Alliance for Dynamics and Health, um, the GA4GH. So it's an international non profit policy framing and technical standard setting organization established in 2013. And it's heavily backed by um, academia and industry such as NIH. Ensemble, um, Google, Seven Bridges, uh, Illumina are all contributing. And what they do is they create frameworks and standards for responsible, voluntary, and secure sharing of health related data. So I guess sounds good. Their work is organized into several different um, uh, work streams. And one of the uh, work streams that is relevant to this project is a GA4GH Cloud API. Uh, a suite of cloud API standards, and these include uh, a data repository service which provides access to data sets, a tool registry service that provides workflows and individual tools, a workflow execution service that interprets workflows and coordinates task execution, and may or may not itself execute um, individual tasks, which it can also uh, forward to uh, dedicated task execution service, which then executes the individual tasks and stages data in or out. So this is uh, shown on the on the scheme on the right. So how this would look. And for this project, what's important is um, the workflow execution service and to some extent also the task execution service. So and we have uh, like in, around one year ago we started implementing West Elixir, which is. Uh, Workflow language agnostic GA4GH REST implementation. Uh, REST is the workflow execution service. And it's basically a wrapper service for different workflow execution engines. So far, we're working with CWL test, which is like, a, like an extension of CWL tool, which we just heard from Michael, um, which basically emits a test request as an execution backend. <coughs> But uh, in principle, we could uh, we could wrap any other workflow engine, such as Cromwell, Nextflow, SnakeMag, and so on. And uh, the reason why we want to do this is that we want to give a uniform experience to the client, to the user, and um, both in terms of how we start the execution, but also in terms of how we uh, get back results to the user and um, and uh, some other things, which I will talk about in a, in a second. Uh, because we also have this idea of like adding a, um, a mock sort of proxy task execution service um, for all those workflow engines that support uh, the, the splitting up of individual tasks into, into, um, uh, into the task execution service. And so we want to set up like a proxy sort of that, that intercepts and sort of hijacks a test call and then it's able to inject some middleware like authorization headers and task distribution logic. And so this would allow us basically to, to uh, users to run any different workflow and get like uh, logs in the same way, have the same authorization schemes and also implement uh, um, use cases such as uh, bringing the data really to the, uh, bringing the computation to the data and, um, and so on. So um, I will skip the software stack and just briefly the scheme. So the client, let's skip the client. So we go to the uh, West Elixir, that's microservice one, which gets the request about running the workflow. And um, we can also skip the database broker and pool. And um, so we have, then we go to the test compatible workflow engine, which emits the test uh, call. And is then this test call is intercepted by the microservice tool, uh, the uh, proxy service, and um, which would then inject the authorization middleware, task distribution, and so on, so that the task would actually be executed wherever you want in the world uh, on any execution backend. So the aims of the hackathon are make WebSolix here fully compliant with the specs, add pluggable support for additional workflow execution engines, operationalize the protest and this proxy test implementation for injecting middleware and integrate the test tribute, task distribution logic that we recently developed during Google Summer of Code into protests. And how you could contribute, um, it's good if you know some Python because everything is written in Python and 
I've written a detailed instructions on the gist that you can get at this URL.